Wanderers, no doubt. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased for the boys. I think that we put a lot of work in last week. Um, we lost to a deflected goal. It was I don't think we deserved to win last week, but I don't think we deserved to lose. Uh, to get points on the board early is important for confidence. But I thought we played very well. So, yeah, pleased for them. This question's not so much about the game, but obviously you've, you've been at Newcastle. Yep. Um, you've obviously heard the club's been taken over by new owners. Even though you're at Wanderers, I assume you'd like to see the Jets do well and hopefully this helps them. I would, without a doubt. I, I was at the Newcastle for 11 games. I come in when uh, things weren't working out too well for them. Uh, but I knew the situation when I made the move with my family and I moved again and that's why I'm here today but I want them to do well you know there's good people in there uh, there's good players in there we know that but you know I think for Australian football in general you don't want you know we're trying to build a league you know that's all I've heard since I've come and it's important that we do that and give more young players opportunities so we can't have clubs going under you know we want to add clubs rather than let clubs go under so I think it's an important move obviously people have backed it um, so yeah I do want them to do well Vincent Gary, next question. Thanks, Marty. Um, Carl, first of all, how was the local hospitality for you uh, from the sidelines? Uh, interesting. There were a few explicit, explicit words were said, and I was like, oh, OK, just be car. Listen, I can't help that. I can't control that. It was a bit of fun. It's brought emotion in the game. I think the game was a very good game of football. It's part and parcel of sport. You want rivalries, you want emotions, and you want storylines, and I think we got that in one today. Yeah. And, uh, and what pleased you the most out of uh, your team's performance? Was it the, the, the way you moved the ball in attack or, or the, the kind of very stout defensive uh, stuff at the end that, uh, yeah. that enabled you to hold on? I think it's a bit of both, Vince. I think, I think the way we played, it, it was a hard week this week because I'm trying to think what, how to break down a team that I built. All right, because I didn't know what they were going to do, whether they are going to do the same or not. They got the same players who were playing with confidence because that team, when I come to Newcastle, was bottom of the table and they managed to get momentum on form and they'll go into this year with momentum on form as well, riding high because of the results last year, even though it's a new season. So I was trying to think what problems we had and teams caused me and try and implement that in my new team, which I did. I created an overloading midfield. I tried to do that so we could take control of the game. But... When we did that, we worked on opportunities in areas where we can go quickly and transition quickly. And I think you know we did that as well. Um, a couple of goals were called out offside. We had numerous chances as well um, on the attacking side, but on the defending side as well. Sometimes it's just brutally honest, hard work. Roll your sleeves up, put your body on the line, put your your you know body in front of a shot, and defend. And that's what my players did, which is pleasing as well. Hey Pam, next questions. Oh, you must be pleased with, as you said, how, how well the players put put their bodies on the line. Are you starting to see a little bit more the type of football that you're you're trying to bring to the place? I am, yes. Uh, I'm seeing it in training. You know, irrelevant of the results and managers will get caught up in results sometimes and, you know, they need a win and you want to win and things like that. I focus on breaking that down and how they're performing every day because if you focus on performance, results eventually end up coming. There was a lot of good stuff in the first game. We built on it this week. Um, we played slightly different. Um, but they're growing together. They've only been together for two weeks, th two and a half weeks, the majority of the squad, because I bought four late additions in. Um, so they're getting used to playing together. You know, we've, we've got teams in this league that are very settled, as we know, and that play naturally. You know, we're not playing naturally at the moment because we've just never played together. But that's the, that's the reason why you train. And we put on these little phases in training and, and drills is to get them used to playing together. But the way they moved the ball to, today was pleasing. Um, but it's only a start. It's three points and we move on for next week's game. Any more questions, Pam? Oh, good. You can go, Daniel, if you like. Garby, you're next. Hey, Carl. Uh, congrats on the win. Um, how important is that win mentally for the players? Because you know you lose the opening game. There's a lot of talk around all the off-field stuff going into this one. Obviously, there's been a lot of hype around the team because of all the off-season recruits. Just mentally to stabilise everything, everything at the club, how important are those three points? I think it's important for players' confidence to win a game of football. Um, at, at any level, I think you know. I focus on performance. I focus on what focus on what I can control, 
um, so, uh, so lovely saying of control of controllables. I can't control the outside influences, the outside opinions and views. I can control what we do inside. And, and they put a lot of work in over the 10 weeks I've been here. You know, the last three weeks we've ramped it up. And, and if you look at that and then the result last week, it was disappointing. We never liked losing a game of football, but there, there were lots of positives. But you don't want to hear a manager say there was positives when they lose a game. You have to accept it and you move on, but you learn from it. And so pleasing for them, for their confidence, uh, but they played well. Individually, whenever you play a game of football, eight, nine players need to play at their levels. And if they play at their levels, you've got a very good chance of winning the game. I think last week was five or six for each team. And then it was, you know, a, a deflected goal. Today, I think a number of players played at their high level performances. And that's a minimum requirement I want. And I'm trying to build a squad. And what's the situation with with Simon Cox? Reports today he might have to go back to to uh, to the UK uh, due to the birth of, of his child. Uh, what's the situation with him, and what might that mean for your squad as the season goes on? Uh, to be fair, I don't know the ins and outs of it, other than his his partner is in the UK and uh, she's heavily pregnant, and we're he's here with us, and he played tonight and played very well. So, other than that, I don't know. Um, obviously, he speaks to my bosses in relation to that because it's his first child and it's a very important moment for the family. Um, but we also know the current climate with the COVID and restrictions and the UK is getting worse and worse at the moment, unfortunately. You know, it's not as simple as jumping on a plane and going back and then hopping on a plane and coming back. So there's a number of factors go into that. So I don't really know is the answer other than, you know, and I, and I won't direct him either way because... I'm a very family oriented person and my family is the most important thing in my life. He's starting a family and I'm sure he wants to be there for the birth of his child. But if he makes a decision not to, I fully respect that as well because you know he's paid to play professional football. It's just the situation we live in at the moment. But as soon as, it, as, soon as I know and get direction, I'll let you know as well. Carl, is there anything you can tell us around sort of the timeframes involved here? How, like sort of when she's due to give birth and when um, Simon will need to give the club a decision? Based on that? Well, I, I know she's due to give birth. Well, I don't know. I've, I've been told around the 12th, 13th of February. Um, but it's just the first, and usually in your first, you, it gets delayed a week or two, doesn't it? So, because there's no uh, apparent uh, C section, I don't think. So, I don't know. And it's not for my business to talk about it. So, um, I don't know other than it. I think it's due on the middle of February. Okay, Gemma, next questions? Uh, so, given your former, uh, former experience at Newcastle, was there any new signings or players that kind of stood out to you tonight from the Jets? From Newcastle? Yeah. Um, I th listen, I thought Newcastle as a whole played very well. Um, they've got, obviously got a number of players that they brought in late, um, younger players as well, and I thought they made an impact when they come on, and, and, and the usual crew that I worked with of uh, Topper and Roy and, and Bogues and, and Stevie and Angus played very well. So. Was I surprised by their performance? No. They were a very good team. They were great to work with when I was here, um, but I'm working with a new team now. Chris Eric? Yeah. Um, Carl, I'd just like to obviously Tate Russell will take a lot of the headlines with that yeah. goal and his performance, but also Thomas Aquilina on the other flank making his debut. What did you think of those two and what's, what's Thomas done to earn that debut? He's shown a, a determination in training. Um, when I got there, he was trying to fight to be a scholarship player. He hadn't got a contract, and I said, it's a clean slate whenever a manager goes into a football club um, and everyone's on the same page. And he's continued to work hard from day one. He's earned his deal. Uh, and I just saw the profile in that player suits the way I want to play. If we're going to play a back three, which we will a number of times this year, I, I need energy and legs in that position. And, and Georgie played well last week. He played very, very well. And it was nothing to do with his performance. It was just a tactical decision based upon playing against a team that I actually managed for 10 games. So I just thought we'd get more joy that way. Uh, and he proved me right. I thought he was exceptional, as was Tate. Okay, 